Hey, what's up, Kool-Aid Dad peeps? It is me, your Kool-Aid Dad Asian in the house. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Hopefully, you guys are doing great out there. I'm actually doing a podcast, the end of the year podcast, uh, and to let you guys know how I did this year on my goals. But what's exciting for me is next year, um, I'm going to let you guys know what is in store for me. So I wanted to let you guys know that. But let's go over my goals because you know what? Every year I actually come up with a couple of goals that I wanted to kind of um, meet every year and set for myself. But I think this year was a little stressful because of everything going on, uh, a lot of movement happening in my life, uh, a lot of things happening at work, uh, a lot of things just happening. So it kind of stressed me out this year. So this next coming year is going to be a little different for me. So I'll let you guys know that in a bit. But I wanted to wish you guys all Happy New Year. Um, if you guys are listening to this in on 2023, Happy New Year. Hopefully you guys, your, your 2022 was great. But let, let me go over my, my goals because this is exciting for me because I, I kind of met most of my goals. But my financial goal was to have at least 1900 um, saved up, right? So that was our rent for the last last apartment. However, it was saved up until we got decided to move again. <laughs> so um, right now we're gonna um, hopefully in January we're gonna start to save up, save up more money, have a um, have a um, some type of cash cash on hand just in case, right? Uh, cut down on subscriptions. I still have a couple more hours left, but I did cut down on some of the subscriptions. Um, porn, but um, also other stuff that I really didn't need uh, in in overall so yeah i just decided to cut cut out some stuff there so that was my financial goal so i actually made that this year so i'm excited i am uh that it happened but i need to cut down more so that's to be expected uh my health goals was get lab tests to check pre-diabetes discover a new diet plan uh, because of my gallbladder surgery back in, I believe it was 2021, my gallbladder surgery, um, my glucose became higher and um, I I was at a pre-diabetic level, which I was not very happy about. I was very surprised that I was because, uh, you know, in my younger years, uh, I'm, I'm 40, I just made 40 this year, it was, I was always in a healthy level. But for some reason, in the last couple of years, I started to go up in in my um glucose and my uh and i became pre-diabetic which is not too bad as a di you know person with diabetes right so um but i don't want to become um diabetic so my husband's trying to help me out with that uh i was able to get my my labs done um this year that a couple of weeks ago and i'm still pre-diabetic but i asked the doctor how i can fix that and just basically diet and working out and making sure that I'm, I'm living a healthier life right so i'm gonna um in the new year that's gonna happen um i started working out again i uh, got a gym membership at ufc so we got pre uh, really motivated to go to the ufc gym um down by uh Waikele area where bj penn uh it has his gym over there so we decided to go ahead and get a gym membership my husband and i and we're, we've gone back and we've been walking around this this area we love this area we're in eva beach now and we love this area so um that's been helping us in manoa it was okay but it, it we just didn't feel it there our my professional wellness am i fully happy professionally or do i want i want more this was kind of an open question for me um you know overall everybody was losing their jobs people were um do i want to be my own boss and stuff like that i wasn't ready to lose my current job so i decided to stay and you know there was a lot of big things happening my boss just retired um hopefully i become the next manager and you know all of that happening and uh then i started up the youtube channel the youtube channel again started making videos started making podcasts so that kind of motivated me to do a lot more and um, for me it was just a, a matter of just getting back into it right so that just the habit of getting back into it kind of helped me out 
uh, what do I want to do with the Cool Like That brand? So a lot of you guys know that I have a secret Cool Like That brand, <laughs> cool, cool Like That um, uh, uh, channel, but also I have my Cool Like That Asian channel, which is the Cool Like That Asian um, Chatter uh, podcast that I've been um, trying to work on and getting that brand out there and um, getting that. Um, so. Thanks to Elon Musk, we we got the blue check mark for the, um, Twitter. So I'm using Twitter a lot. Um, I'm going to be putting more videos out there, short videos, try to um, be more visible, right? Regarding that, mental wellness uh, just makes a uh, monthly mani pedi haircut or massage. Been doing that uh, last last week. I did um, actually last month. I did more of a uh, getting my, you know, I, I include also my mental health. So got got to talk to my um, psychologist and uh, got mani pedis here and there and massages here and there. So that has been helping me quite a bit to stay on track. Hi, my love, my baby kitties over here, baby kitties over here. Okay, and then meditate at least once a month. So I've been able to do that um, quite frequently and just you know sit and just stay still. You know, I think it's important for people to stay still, be able to just stay calm for a second and just have that breathing moment. And, you know, being in this apartment, it's been quite a ride um, for us. And it's been great to be able to um, just have our own uh, own space. This this apartment, we have about uh, we have three bedrooms, two baths. One of my, one of the bedrooms is my office. One of the other bedrooms is my husband's office, and then we have the bedroom. So a lot of times we don't have anything in the bedroom <laughs> that is office related or anything like that. Um, and it's been quite wonderful just to download and just to go to sleep in a bedroom. Um, in the other apartment, it was just like there was so much stuff it just piled up, and we just didn't like it. But um, did I? Did I meet all my goals last year? I would have to say, yes, I did. So all my goals were met. Um, and I'm so excited because um, even though I didn't, we didn't, uh, well, maybe the first goal wasn't replenish savings accounts, uh, minimum 1900. It was up till December. Now, December came around because of the fact that we had all those other stuff um moving and all that stuff so january we should be able to replenish that back up again um, or going into next year so um that's really much about it so did i i meet my goals yes i did Woo-hoo! you know what i'm saying so i'm so excited but going into next year i i know people were are kind of wondering what's happening going into next year I me mean, being festive actually nothing's going to happen next year and I, I was talking to my psychologist about this, and it's important, I think, people to realize what they can and cannot handle. And last year, it was just so much happening um, from my boss retiring, um, from us moving, from the pandemic, everything going on in the world. I just decided, you know what, um, I, I talked to my psychologist and I said, there is so much happening. I just feel like I'm so overwhelmed. It's almost like a it's a like a rubber band about ready to just snap right so i decided this year and he he's he said something very profound <laughs> it's, i guess we pay him the pay our psychologist the big bucks for this right is what if your goal is for next year is to do nothing is to not expect nothing you know and not expect you know that should be your goal is not to um to have any expectations for next year and i said that can be my goal because every year i tend to actually have i think my husband's like saying something (laughs) but every year i tend to have this this expectation for myself to meet something and i get, get down on myself if i don't meet that and you know over the past couple of um, months it's just been very difficult and uh with the expectations just to meet something and even my job has been more demanding that i just didn't want to expect so much on on myself this year so i think going into next year is going to be a little different um it's going to be a little bit more of 
um, me just just being myself, just having fun, um, just downloading and just relaxing because I, I've been so uptight for the last couple of years and it's just been crazy. But yeah, that's my su big surprise. And yeah, maybe it's not a surprise for all of you, but it's a surprise for me because I usually want to try to keep myself busy and try to keep myself focused on something. But this year is just going to be, you know, I'm going to be remain festive. I'm going to just be be in the moment i think and that's what um what i want to expect for myself it's just be in the moment and just have fun you know um, life's too short and we all know that over the last couple of years but yeah i i wanted to wish you guys all a happy happy new year and have a great one stay safe i love you guys and i'll catch you guys all soon okay uh, we're gonna be doing this podcast more often speaking to my mind a lot more and being myself a lot more. So I love you guys. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.